Hey guys, it's Jag. Welcome back to the arcade. Let's go back to just another game, Resident Evil Zero, where we have managed to survive a train crash through the powers of being a protagonist. And we find ourselves in some sort of sewer, which leads to the second area of the game. We have basically completed what passes for the game's tutorial. And now it's time to start Resident Evil in earnest. But before we do that, I want to show you guys something I alluded to an episode or two ago. These suitcases. These suitcases allow you to change costumes. And this is something that's not really explained or told to you or, or even hinted at. I basically had to look this up to figure out how to change costumes. But Rebecca has a number of costumes. We have her current appearance. This is her appearance in Resident Evil, the original. This is her appearance in the director's cut of Resident Evil way back in, way back then. Um, director's cut was released because I believe Resident Evil 2 was taking a bit too long. And so they released director's cut as a stopgap. I think that's right. Uh, her sportswear, this appears in an Easter egg photo in Albert Wesker's desk in Resident Evil 2. If you've seen my Resident Evil 2 remake, you also saw this picture. Cheerleader is an unlockable costume that she can get in Resident Evil Deadly Silence, which was released for the Nintendo DS to commemorate the 10 year anniversary of the release of the original Resident Evil. This is the same game that also gave Jill a sexy cop outfit. Western is an unlockable cos an alternate costume in the original Res Resident Evil, and this is also done in the remake. Uh, leather is basically introduced in this game as an alternate costume. I don't know how you unlock that. And then you have the nurse, which was an unlockable costume in Resident Evil 3D Mercenaries mode. And this costume caused Rebecca to take a lot of damage, but also gave her great healing abilities. So she basically took a ton of damage. But if she survived it, she would regenerate it really quickly, and healing items had an increased effect when she used them in this outfit. Uh, this is another outfit unique to this game, the original Resident Evil Zero, actually. And then that's it, and then over here, we just have some t-shirts for her to wear, you know, a little bit of casual gear. You know, for fun, why don't we switch every now and then, uh, why don't we start with the sportswear? Fashion plate. All right. Well, I didn't want to. I didn't want to bail out of that menu quite yet, because Billy also has. Also has his own costumes, but of course, not nearly as many, and pretty much all of them are just alternate costumes for this game. I don't know what Wolf Force from Mercs is, or that icon down there. That's really hard for me to read. I assume these are references rather than his appearances in other games. But uh, why don't we put him in the jacket? Looks rather dapper. And then, you know, that switches your, your teammates. But what you do have to do after you do this is you need to swap back to their personal items. Otherwise, uh, yeah, you can't do much. And that means I'm going to have to swap back to Rebecca. This partner swapping mechanic is really neat, but it does get tedious. I did not want to do that. Let me out. There we go. It does get rather tedious. As you can see, I am low on ammo. Now, look at all these goodies around me. Remember that I said you wanted to examine as many items as possible, even if you couldn't carry them. Every item that you examined you can take with you. They're all here. There are some exceptions to this. I believe herbs burn up and ammo explodes depending on the difficulty. But, you know, most of your items that you can take with you will end up here. Just kind of grab everything you want. Can you get those Molotovs? I'm not too worried about the hook shot or the knife. Alright, so Billy's got to grab that. Uh, 
Clearly the fact that the hookshot survived means we're going to be using it at some point. Just kind of remember that that's here. I, what I really need more than anything else is bullets. I don't know how I ran out of so many bullets, I guess just using them. <laughs> that final fight against four zombies probably didn't help. And now we get to wade through the sewers. Excellent. Rebecca probably really appreciates I put her in that athletics uniform. This really, this really looks kind of familiar. This looks a lot like the sewers of Resident Evil 2. There are some areas that are definite throwbacks to the original Resident Evil 2. I'll try to point them out when we kind of cr when we come across them. The Umbrella Research Center? First general manager, Dr. James Marcus. Who on earth are those people? She's just a rookie, a member of STARS. Hmm, what about the male? I'm unfamiliar with Attention, mm -hmm. this is Dr. Marcus. Please be silent as we reflect upon our company motto. Obedience breeds discipline. Discipline breeds unity. Unity breeds power. Power is life. <laughs> who are you? It was I who scattered the T-virus in the mansion. Needless to say, I contaminated the train, too. What? Revenge. On Umbrella. ago, Dr. Marcus was murdered by Umbrella. You helped them, didn't you? <laughs> well, it seems like those two gentlemen have a problem that's become everyone else's problem. Uh, if you guys don't recognize them, obviously one of them is Albert Wesker. The other is William Birkin, the you know, the architect of the G-Virus. And... Someone who claims to have invented the T-Virus? I don't know, we might see how true that is. But it seems like uh, that young dude, that Sephiroth-looking dude, doesn't like them very much. Alright, and now we have our own mansion level to explore. Hooray! I love, actually, you know what, not, not being sarcastic, I do love the mansions. The mansions are the best. I don't know why, but it just could be because of, uh, because of Resident Evil started in a mansion. Like, this feels like the most natural part of the series, is just wandering around and solving puzzles in these mansions. Not being in, in a laboratory, not being on a train or a boat. And that is a leech zombie. They're gonna be a lot more common now. Avoid them when you can. Just don't waste your bullets on them. As I said before, they take a ton of damage. They have incredible reach. They do a lot of damage. They're one of the reasons why this is considered one of the most difficult Resident Evil games. The top part is engraved with the image of a clock. Okay, so we can't go any further this way. There is another, another enemy in this game that is also extremely difficult. Fortunately, we won't see them for a while, but 
Leech zombies are going to be a lot more common than normal zombies at this point. Ugh. There... Honestly, I don't think that they're as intimidating as crimson heads, but they're not fun. Alright, this looks like a good place to drop a few things. Let's go ahead and leave that. Let's pick up the ink ribbons so I can combine them in one thing. And then I'm going to drop the ink ribbons immediately because I don't need them. I hate doing this. The reason why I keep hitting that button is because in other Resident Evils, that is how you access the menu. Alright, leave that. That'll be fine for now. And then pick up the bullets, because I really need the bullets. Give me bullets. Take the handgun ammo. I'm going to go ahead and, and stay on Billy for the time being. While I'm exploring and trying to figure out where to go. Like I said, I do have a guide. I'm trying to only refer to it when I absolutely need to. Oh, more bullets. Excellent. Why don't I give... Why don't I give you some bullets? Uh, actually you got the shotgun and you got... You don't have space for them anyway. Fine, I'll keep the bullets myself. Reload. What's through here? That's locked. The door is embossed with a fire motif. Okay. Also, Rebecca is on idle, so she's not going to be using anything. I should fix that. The sink's faucet is rusty. Not even a single drop of water comes out. At the same time, like... You know, I'm fine with Billy being in the lead and using all the ammo at the moment. Alright, what's this way? Okay. Can't do anything there. So I think that's pretty much downstairs that's completely closed off. Oh, I can go here. Are you... You're not a leech zombie. Good. Oh, get off me. There's something here. What is this? Take the black statue? Sure. That might be useful later. Uh, actual shotgun? Don't take the gas tank. I will take the actual shotgun. Yeah, take the shotgun. Becky, let's get out of here. Nothing like actual shotgun to improve your life. Now we don't have to worry about the hunting rifle anymore. Okay, the black statue and that in hand. I think we want to head back to the main hallway, drop the stuff off. Hopefully not get, take any more damage in the meantime because uh, we're already kind of hurting a bit. Even Billy isn't doing so hot. where a knife that actually was useful would come in handy, but as far as I know, the knife is even worse than it is in the original Resident Evil 2. And that's saying something. That's really bad. Okay, so let's see. I want to drop off. Let's uh, leave the statue. I'm going to keep the handgun ammo. Let me work with my inventory here a minute. Reload. Swap to Becky. 
you leave this for now. Uh, do I want you to keep? I guess you. Yeah, I guess you kind of have to use that. I don't really have many handgun bullets I can give you. Yeah. All right, we'll go with this against my better judgment. Ah! Alright, swap back to Billy. Let's head upstairs, see what we can find up there. What we got over here? Ah, scale. There's something written on the base. When good and evil are brought into balance, a new path will be opened before you. Okay, so that's probably part of what the statue is for. I don't think that statue is actually complete. If I remember right, we actually have to fix its wings. Like, the statues are in two parts. Hey, an actual room that's not trying to kill us. What a concept. What's this? Got the crane candle? Yeah, we'll take that. Run away! Ow. Get off me! Fuck the crows! Not fighting the crows. The crows rank up above dogs for my top 10 most annoying Resident Evil critters. You can do a significant amount of damage, and usually you're better off just not even bother fighting them. Alright, so that room's a bust. What about this one? Also, let's check my health real quick. We're still both in yellow caution, okay. I am so glad I'm not doing this in hard mode. That's locked, but there doesn't seem to be a keyhole anywhere. The top part is engraved with the image of a clock. It's locked from the other side. I guess we can only go this way? At least, like, right now it feels like I'm making progress. Like... Between this and Resident Evil 1, this seems a lot better at telling you where you can and can't make progress. What is this? Security system is locked. Please insert system disk. System disk required to activate release system. Okay. Well, there's something over there. Also, is that another typewriter? Like, a room away from a place with a typewriter? Sure is. Ooh, shotgun shells? Yes, please. I cannot carry this item right now. Um... Leave that. I have a feeling that I'm going to want shotgun shells on Billy. More than I want Molotovs at the moment. Alright, so that's another save location. I'll leave that alone for the time being. I don't need to save yet. What's this? Ooh. First, what's down? Any sparklies here? What is this? Okay, they're guarding that door pretty heavily. It's locked from the other side. I'm guessing that might be the evac route, the one that the knights are guarding. Alright, what do we got? Normal zombie? Getting numbed. Ah. Billy's in bad shape. He might need that first aid spray here in a minute. Also, zombies take a ton of bullets. Okay, he's only in orange caution. Yeah, 
zombies take a ton of bullets. That's the other, the other reason why I'm not doing this on hard. Hey! A complete map of the training facility. That's useful. That's not even like floor by floor. That's just like, hey, have this. Cool. Okay. What's over here? The old man is holding a candle in his hand. This light will guide you to a greater truth. Take the microfilm. Sure? I'm not sure I want it. I kind of feel like, you know, the, well, maybe, uh, they should have just like used a box system. Like, I think they were trying to get too clever with themselves over this whole system of, uh, inventory management. It's a winch control for a lift. There's a square shaped hole in the panel. Okay, so I'm gonna, oops. I'm gonna need to use that, I assume. I love how they just nod at each other. Um, problem is, is I think I know what's gonna happen. I'm not sure I wanna trigger this yet. Not in my current condition. I'll just slot this for now and we'll see what else we can find. Everyone's hurt so bad. I mean, I do have those first aid sprays if I need them and all those herbs down in the main hallway. Oh, and Billy died. So that's already the second death. Excellent. I guess I will see you in a few minutes. All right, I'm caught back up to where I left off before I died. I believe I've gone in all the rooms. I should have picked up all the items that I remembered picking up. And I actually came out a little bit ahead because when I was in the locomotive and about to do the break sequence, I found an extra clip of ammo that I didn't pick up the first time that I found the second time. So we're actually a little bit ahead on bullets, I think. And because I took Rebecca through the train to the rear brakes, I actually found that scene that I was looking for. So why don't you take a look at this? Edward! No! Stop! Don't come any closer! Not a real deep scene, but, you know, a little bit of closure. I kind of like the fact that Rebecca had to deal with her teammate getting uh, zombified, but now it's time to actually make some progress, and I don't want to go this way. We're also going to be introduced to a new enemy that's really, really, really annoying. I feel like I'm going to be saying that a lot. But uh, you'll learn to hate them. You'll see them several times. Before we do that, here's a memo I forgot. Regulations for trainees. Trainee fac training facility mission. This training facility will raise a new generation of model employees to serve the future of Umbrella Corps. Applying the strictest and most rigorous training standards, this facility will, without regard for gender, race, or creed, produce only the best candidates to be used to be the future global leaders of Umbrella Corporation. We look forward to the development of your leadership qualities. Training facility guidelines. Discipline, obedience, unity. These three words are the basic principles which govern Umbrella Co Corporation employees and are to be considered the law of this facility. Keep these words in mind at all times. Devote yourselves to your training and bring honor to yourselves and the corporation. James Marcus, Director, Umbrella Corporation Management Training Facility. Well, with that in our pocket, 
Let's head back to this room where I put the crank handle in the crank. And this is going to be a forced split up section. Lots of fun. Lots of fun. It's always... Stop that. It's always good when Rebecca gets to go off on her own and have her own big adventures without the tank. Alright. So, Rebecca, you have to come across... Where is it? Which screen is it on? It's around here? Yeah. You have to stand here. You stay here. Yeah. And... Oop, no. You stay here. Billy... You use your big, strong Billy muscles and operate the crank, because Rebecca is a delicate little flower and can't move a crank, apparently. So, up she goes. And uh, this is where, as soon as we get to the top, we encounter a brand new enemy. And I'm going to run and scream. These are lurkers. I don't know if they're grasshoppers or... If they are uh, cockroaches, what I do know is that they are really annoying. Just get through us here, get through here as fast as possible. Don't worry too much with them. Try not to take any damage. We'll deal with them later. The whole purpose of this run right now is to basically open up this path for Billy. I think there is a key item in that room. I know that that room itself is a key location that we're going to be coming back to. But for the moment, I just don't want to deal with it if I don't have to. There's a green herb here. And there is a red herb nearby. And I... There are a lot of crows. Get off me, crows. I don't know how to get to this. Get off me, crows. I want this red herb if I can get it. There we go. Yes, take the red herb. Now let's get the hell out of here. That gives us a second full heal. Which is probably going to come in handy really quickly. Now you're going to get familiar with this room right here. But for now, we're just passing through. And we're going to head down the stairs. Because if I pull up the map here... We can see that these stairs connect to the that locked door right there. Which means we can get behind it, we can open it up in the main hall, and that releases the Billy. And then we can bring Billy up here because you may have seen those cranks along the wall. We need him to operate them with his big Billy muscles again. So we can't do anything here without them, and our progress is actually blocked until we bring him up here. So, Billy, why don't you just come meet me here? Now, be careful when you're leaving this room, because even though we came down the hallway, as soon as you step out into the hallway, there's rather dick enemy placement. But it'll get to show you what the shotgun does, which is really good. Yeah, they put a zombie here. Let's put her back against the wall and just wait for the zombie to make his way over here. Come on, zombie. It's going to be a little bit tricky to judge from this camera angle, but if you let a zombie get almost on top of you and aim up a little bit closer. Ah, too close. Excellent. You'll take their head straight off. I kind of wish I had demonstrated that without putting Billy into caution. Great. Uh, it's probably fine, honestly, for the moment. Let's just meet up with Becky and we'll call it an episode here. Because this is about... Except for that dumb hit, this has actually been fairly clean, so I'm actually pretty pleased with how this happened. I just kind of wish I hadn't taken that stupid hit there. But, you know what? One hit on Billy is better than a nasty hit on Rebecca, so this it's one. okay. Okay. But I think we're going to go ahead and call it an episode here, because the next thing we have to do 
We have to take on the next boss, and it's not going to be that much fun. But I'll see you then. Thanks for coming out and joining me today. As always, I appreciate it. If you enjoyed what you saw, give me likes, leave me comments, remember to subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.